An animal emergency on Long Island today. Volunteers rushing to save a sea turtle struggling in the cold temperatures. And just like many of us, the East Coast, home to several turtle species, including one that is critically endangered. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager has an exclusive look at why these rescues are a matter of life and death. Cold days like this are beach days for Christina Hansen and her fellow rescue workers at the Riverhead Foundation. This time it's Kenny's Beach here on Long Island's North Fork in South Hold, where Good Samaritans have done all they can to save this 50 pound loggerhead sea turtle originally floating helplessly in the Long Island Sound. We saw him on his back. So we flipped him over and carried him up, and he's alive. He's given a number, 34, because that's how many sea turtles in Long Island have now been found stranded and cold stunned this season. It's a condition in which the prolonged summers and sudden extreme winters don't give these precious creatures the natural instinct to migrate south. It is so warm for so long that they think they have more time, and then that drastic change slows them down and they're not able to swim out. Since November on this particular beach, this is actually the third sea turtle they've rescued. The problem is the others haven't made it. We're getting turtles with internal temperatures as low as negative 1.5 Celsius. But eight of the Long Island stranded turtles have made it as of today and volunteers say they're growing, thriving and will hopefully be released soon thanks to citizen scientists like these who call the foundation's hotline and realize it's best not to move the turtles inside because they must warm up slowly. We did get a response when we inserted the thermometer, um, so that's a good sign. Encouraging news for number 34, this species among just seven in the world, alive since the dinosaur age and hopefully for years to come.